Now some fun here on TYT Sports Locked Out. Some of the best sports Halloween costumes. Not from athletes, but from you guys, the fan. This is courtesy of BaconSports.com. You could follow him on Twitter, at BaconSports. These pictures that I'm about to show you were taken at Public House in Chicago, uh, off of State Street, I believe in the 60654 area code, uh, on the corner of State Street and Hubbard. So a few of the best costumes he saw uh, at this bar, Public House, which I have not been to, I have to go to. Uh, take a look at them really quickly. The first is the Harlem Globetrotters. I love the afros. The writer says it took roughly four hours to make these costumes, then iron and glue the letters onto the shirts. Well done, guys. And then the second one he shows is Duncan Keith. Uh, the NHL lockout is looming, but Duncan Keith is still living large in Chicago. NHL fans and Chicago fans, I'm sure, will love this. The long hair, phenomenal. The jeans are weak, but thing two over his left shoulder certainly helps the cause. The third, a bunch of wrestlers here. Rowdy Roddy Piper, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, and Macho Man Randy Savage. My personal favorite Probably the ultimate warrior. I love the detail in these costumes. Uh, the belts are great as well. Here's the worst one of all that I saw on BaconSports.com. A weak attempt at a Derrick Rose costume, writes the writer. Uh, bad costume plus not slutty equals not good for Halloween. Anyone who's ever gone to a big college knows exactly what we're talking about. Uh, Lance Armstrong. Many things to take in with this one. First, the costume is phenomenal. Overall, also very detailed. His number 001, as in one nut, uh, low blow, but hey, many people are taking shots at Lance Armstrong as of right now. Uh, the upside down Nike logo, live wrong instead of obviously live strong. And on the bottom it reads, Lance the Uniballer, and Uniballer is in bold, taking many shots at Lance Armstrong. The 1992 NBA Dream Team, considered the greatest team to ever play together. These four had what appears to be authentic jerseys. I'm a huge fan of authentic jerseys. From left to right, obviously Christian Leitner, Larry Bird, Chris Mullen, and John Stockton. Uh, Stockton being the shortest of the bunch certainly helps the cause here. And by the way, these jerseys are probably so expensive. I know because I have a wide array of jerseys. I used to collect them, whether it was LeBron James High School all the way to Kirk Heinrich and Mark Pryor. I'm a Chicago sports fan. Give me a break. But uh, love these jerseys. They look really good. Here's the best one by far of the night. Derrick Rose as what appears to be Derrick Rose. The facial hair is spot on, by the way, and it probably helps his cause that uh, their skin tone is very similar. And the tattoos are tremendous, very detailed. Number eight, referee costumes. Eh. I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10 just because of the flags in the back. Curled perfectly like a regular ref would have them. Number 9, Mike Ditka. Of course, this always happens at every Halloween. Not a bad thing. It's always good, especially for Chicagoans. But overall, uh, Mike Ditka, I've seen it many times. I don't know how you could possibly differentiate from the other Ditkas, but you know what? Well done. Kudos to you. Here's a great one. Adam Banks from, of course, the Mighty Ducks. I agree with the writer, by the way. Uh, don't half-ass your costume. You know what? If you're going to do it, just freaking do it to the extreme, man. You know what? Have a few drinks. Do it to the extreme. Have fun with it. Everyone else will have fun with it if you have fun with it. That's probably the number one rule of Halloween costumes. Uh, then again, he probably didn't give a fuck because of the bumblebee that he's talking to right there. I got a few bonus ones for you. Uh, the first one is from Broncos wide receiver Demarius Thomas. Look at this right here. Uh, as a replacement referee, I absolutely love this. And then Alex Morgan and teammate Sidney Leroux dressing up as Michaela Maroney and Gabby Douglas. Those are awesome as well. So a special thank you to Bacon Sports. Again, follow them on Twitter, at Bacon Sports. He's a fellow Chicagoan. Come on, give him a follow. And also, please like him on Facebook, facebook.com slash Bacon Sports. And also go to his website, BaconSports.com. So as for us, we leave you with this. You could always tweet your thoughts at me. If, by the way, if you have one of the best sports Halloween costumes, you could absolutely tweet it at me, and I'll try, to, I'll try to mention you on the show. And please do us a favor. Subscribe to TYT Sports.